Hi guys! So today I have the 72 premium quality water color pencils from Castle Arts and they say they can be used wet and dry. So let's take a look at them. They come in this metal tin the same as all the other uh, Castle Art pencils which actually I find it really nice and also in these tins now you get all these small handles which is so nice that they also incorporated that because it is a lot of times it is difficult to to get these things out if you only use this so I think it is really nice that they also put these small like handles with which you can take that out um, Informations that we get inside, it's not a lot, so this is actually their older booklet. So it is not the one you get with uh, metallic pencils or which ones do I, did I try it a couple of times ago, uh, days ago, I think the, the pastel ones. So this is actually the old set and the old swatch. So the newer one uh, is bigger and also has those, those that metallic and pastel set also written, written there so this is more like an older uh, version and also here with watercolor pencils tutorial also i noticed here that it is this is also the old way how they were using it because with the newer newer uh, pencils they actually were also putting the colors color numbers and names which they used uh, for these colorings and I actually find that really nice. Okay, so what do we have here? As I said, this is 72 set. Because of that, there are three compartments, as you can see here. And it is really nice that you can just take them out. You can just take them out like that. So I like that a lot. And let's take a look at the pencils. We have here, so we have the color name and color number and here it's written castle arts and watercolor so yeah and and actually I forgot to say they look like the old set of uh, castle arts colored pencils yeah so I'm going to swatch them now and see how they perform
finished watching this and the color pencils are not hard so that is actually a positive thing so they are not scratchy they're not so soft but i would say actually in the middle so really uh, they are nice to use uh, but when you look at these colors the colors are a little bit let's say washed out so muted uh, they are not so pigmented there are like here sometimes you do want to have those colors mm, but when you have the the whole set maybe there is a bigger set i am not sure now this is the 72 set um so these colors are more muted so i'm not sure if in the bigger set there are more uh, vibrant colors but yeah these are not so vibrant i i have to show this because this is the, what I always show just if you look at the Faber Castell Gold Faber you can really see how vibrant these are and now you look at these and you see that they are more like washed out um how they performed well they there are a couple of them that did dissolve really well uh, of course these are also brighter colors um, you do not see the the strokes but still i think these this for example this orange one it is all really nice and there are other colors so i would say they are more like in the middle so not the worst but they are also not the best so they they are uh, which ones did i tried actually they even remind me of the white knight even though i would actually say that the white knights are all at even a tick more vibrant than than the castal arts um stabilo yeah maybe they they go with i would say that they are with uh, stabilo from uh from the vibrancy of the colors but still the stabilo did dissolve better so there are yes couple of these colors here which did not dissolve so much but still they did dissolve <laughs> a little tick better than the castle arts yeah magic fly were definitely the worst ones that i tried to know so castle arts are much better uh, in that case and these ones were hard harder colored pencils um where is it? Ah, here. So the if we take a look at the black. 
the same thing uh, as always the black is not really black it is more like a gray color uh, there are as i said nice colors here but yeah for for my own taste i prefer the stabilo more um i wish stabilo would have had a bigger set which it does not have but let's see at the test i did um i did the comparison to other colored pencils the one the, the test that i do all the time and this is the castle art i did not write it down mm, the thing is the color like even though i've put like a really thick layer still the color looks washed out that is my biggest problem here the positive thing was that i was able to reactivate it to some amount so like much more than some other pencils so that is that is a positive thing here you see this part here was the same color as this one so i was able to reactivate that um but yeah the, the lines are visible but as you if you look here from the stabilo this transition somehow i i like it much more than than what is happening here yeah uh, as i said i would i would really i would put them somewhere in the middle as i said they are not the worst but not not the best yeah so i hope this can help you a little bit um to to decide if you want to try these ones out so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time bye